Hey, so I said it's National Sausage Month, and uh, being Italian, this is Mario from the Healthy Butcher. Uh, he's the co-owner. We've made sausages in the past in my family, and uh, you say when it comes to making sausages, just go for it. Absolutely, just go for it. You know what? The key to making great sausages is using great ingredients, right? Mm -hmm. So at the Healthy Butcher, we sell the best meat, 100% grass-fed beef here. I have Berkshire uh, pork that was raised locally, mm -hmm. um, and we're going to put together. But, you know, it's unfortunate that today most sausages just dry spices go in and there's really no reason for that you should be able to use all kinds of fresh ingredients like things that I have here fresh herbs instead of dried herbs you know mushrooms cheese alcohol like today I'm using beer mm -hmm. you know fruit there's no there's really the sky's the limit and then making of the sausage is actually quite easy as, as we're just gonna do right now but it, it's it's the combination of ingredients it's a lot of experimentation over years too where you find that perfect one you'll have Absolutely. some that are great some that are not so great but it's all about the fun about making it's a family event for many people so we got we're putting both in there 50 50 mix it's about 75 25 okay okay so I got beef okay. and pork I'm gonna okay. put in some fresh cheddar okay okay I got jalapenos beautiful okay, for so a little you, bit of spice yeah there you go and you got some fresh parsley I see you got garlic there too I got a little bit of garlic how's, <laughs> how's that sound there you go awesome first thing in the morning now the only two dry spices I know I have four there the only two are mustard seed and chili powder the reason why I say okay. only two is because the other ones are salt and pepper and so when a oh, chef no. says season your meat he or she is referring to using salt, salt and pepper peppers. okay so that's the state yeah. and the little secret ingredient that I have here which I'll let pour out is that honey that is honey so the honey is gonna balance the heat of the jalapenos and it's gonna act as a natural binding agent as well and what's the alcohol doing this is uh, black oak beer so this is our black oak beer jalapeno and cheddar sausage right. you know what again like y you usually need a little bit of moisture in your sausage in order to be able to mix all the ingredients and then you're just gonna mix it in yeah why, why use water when you can use wine or beer or any kind of alcohol like that to add a little bit more flavor right yeah. so what I'm doing is just folding it folding it over making sure that I incorporate all the ingredients Okay. Okay. Because the last thing you want to do is be bite into a pocket of black pepper. Well, 100%. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you okay. want to mix this through. So this so. machine over here is, of course, this is the one that we're going to put the meat into. Absolutely. Turn it in, and then we got the casing there. So this is the sausage stuffer. Okay. And can so we rent a sausage you want stuffer? Want to hold that for me? Yeah, I'll hold it. Absolutely. There. The healthy butcher actually rents uh, a sausage stuffer for weekends and for weekday uh, uses. So it's really inexpensive. Otherwise, we sell them. They're about 150 bucks for a five-pound stuffer, which is more than you'll ever need. Right. Okay. So and with the ingredients we're making today, how many sausages would this make? This is about five pounds. So depending on how big you like your sausages, no right. pun intended, uh, <laughs> you'll, you'll, have, you'll have more or less sausages, right? Yeah. Let me just wait my hands here. Okay, so we're going to put this machine back up awesome. here. Awesome. Okay, now I'm going to get you to crank. Okay. You're going to put that down. Yeah. We're ready. We're going to crank it through. Yeah. Keep going all the way through. Yep. Got so now the trick, the trick is on making the sausages, I'm going to have you do this as well. It's just basically applying a little bit of tension on the end of the horn. Right. To make there sure. There it goes. Yeah, go ahead. It's nice and yeah. slow. You can go a little bit faster if okay. you want. And see, it's perfectly filled sausage. Okay? Right. Okay, I'll, you would do this and okay. I'll do that. And so when do you tie it off, though? Uh, at the end. Okay. At the end. There you go. Oh, you're so a pro. You've done right. this before. Now, oh, don't yeah. pull with the other hand because... Oh, no pull? There's no, there's no need pulling. Okay. Right? You want to ma make sure it's nicely filled. Right, I see okay. it. So you want to make sure. Yep. So now that we're at here, yep. the last step of making the sausage is simply linking it, right? Right. There's many ways of linking, but the easiest way is to figure out how long you want to, your sausage. Right. Okay, you pinch. Pinch. And then you twist. One, two, three. And then you go the same distance. Yeah. And you pinch backwards. One, two, three. And you keep on going. Awesome. So Mario from the Healthy Butcher, he'll be there to help you make your sausages, also with all the ingredients. Pretty impressive. Ten years in business, and he was a former Bay Street lawyer. But now making some good meats. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks. Hey, it's Cheers. National Sausage Thanks Month. Nothing like a good sausage on a Monday. Absolutely. Is it too early Anytime. for sausage? Why Monday? <laughs> exactly. We make 80 types, so why not? <laughs>